We're back with more recession-proof fashion tips for you. And Tara's back with us. I, I have to say, what, especially in Goodwill, mm -hmm. you have to not just look, go to the fashion section. So I went back to where we went shopping. Right. And I went over to where the household goods were. They have great children's things. But the household things, I bought this one for myself. This is a coverlet for a bed. Look at this price. I, Tell them how much that is. This is six ninety nine. <laughs> now, why I'm why I'm shocked, of course, is that you can get this at Pier One Imports for fifty, sixty dollars. Right. And the quality here is the same, the same. and it's brand new and brand it's new. Forty three dollars less. Right. And you know what? The thing you have to remember is they get tax write offs. So when you take you know your things into Goodwill or Salvation Army, you mm -hmm. get the tax certificate mm -hmm. to get it knocked mm -hmm. off your taxes. Mm -hmm. So therefore, a lot of stores send their surplus That's right. there. That's right. So a lot of the things are new. Look at this pillow. Brand new. Again, one ninety nine. One ninety nine. And I'd use this. And you when we went shopping for you, right. what did you buy that was new? <sighs> Let's see, we found Ferragamo shoes. Right. Uh, and those were, I think, about six dollars. Right, Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. We found Calvin Klein jacket. All the labels I like without spending the money for them. Right. So I was happy about that. But yeah. Yeah. You know, in the Goodwill, you can't really haggle prices, but in yeah. some of the smaller thrift stores, a really good thing is to say, you know, go there and haggle the price a right. little bit. Because in this economy, sometimes the merchandise has been there a little bit and they're willing to play on the price. So in the smaller stores, don't accept the price on the ticket. That's right. Ask That's for right. a discount. That's right. Especially if you're buying more than one item. Right, because then they really want to help move the merchandise. Right. And so the more you buy, the more they're willing to haggle with you. And in this recession, I think if you don't haggle, you're not smart. You're not smart. Exactly. Okay. Because low is never low enough. No, That's honey. The thing. Let me tell you, with the Madoff scandals and the AIG, yeah. my four little words <laughs> I keep saying is S A L E and going to the thrift store. So, you know, I also want to give you a few tips to look for for the folks at home when you're thrift shopping. Okay. On the sweaters, make sure there's no moth holes. That's right. On leather goods, mold is the that it's just impossible to get rid of that smell. Yeah. So smell. Yeah. Smell the garments. Yeah. Sm look at the shoes. Make sure there's no mold in it. That's right. Open the handbags. That's right. Make sure there's no mold in it. Have a good sniff of it. Have, have an interactive experience because you just don't know. You I think you found know. me something that was actually really nice. And we looked at the seams. They were falling Fall apart. apart. So, yeah, so mm -hmm. you really have to examine things. Right. And look for things that can go day to night that mm -hmm. are versatile. Mm -hmm. And you know that's the best way mm -hmm. to shop. Don't forget the children's things and go to the household that's sections. Right. Um, when we went, the day you and I went, we had lots to choose from. There was a lot of things. But the other thing about some of the thrift stores, the Goodwill, Salvation Army, is you have to maybe go back more than one That's time right. because sometimes they have a good selection, mm -hmm. other times you're not mm -hmm. as lucky. Mm -hmm. So you've got to keep going back. That's you can't right. give it up. That's and right. don't forget the vintage things. You had some great vintage pieces there in excellent condition. That's right. And that second piece was one year vintage. It was great. Well, if you come with me next time, uh -huh. I'm confident I'll get even more. You will get more. <laughs> I'm so glad you came today. Thank Thanks you for so having me. Very much. Thank you very, very much. Okay. Okay, everyone, we're going to be back. A great dinner alternative. Um, you've got a great recipe with seared lamb chops. I happen to love lamb. It's my favorite thing. We'll be right back. What? Look stylish and sleek by thrift store shopping. Take a look. Normally shop at boutiques, department stores, um, other stores sort of in my neighborhood. the thrift out of it. Don't think you're just like, you know, not doing the best thing you can for yourself. So think of it as a boutique, you know, and you're treating yourself and you're absolutely out for a bargain. So take the thrift out of it. Kids clothes, it's a great thing because they, ne they grow so quickly, they never get worn out. Go and look for your new tags, have a, you know, an idea in your head about what suits you and go and target your market. Target it. I again appreciate thrift stores, don't want to, to knock it in any fashion, but because of the type of work that I do and the fact that I'm an executive, I didn't think that there was, this was an option that would be useful for me. So I was very uncomfortable, um, extremely skeptical, and probably filled with stereotypes. Brands I really like, um, Anthropology, Calvin Klein, um, some Prada. Um, I also like um, some vintage designers as well, um, but pretty much sort of the high-end type of designers. Hollywood has changed a lot of it. You get a lot of the big stars wearing vintage, so it's kind of taking the stigma of all of that away. And in this economy, we're all trying to save money. There is no stigma anymore.
most of us are out to save some money, look as good as we can on the limited budgets that we have, and, um, you know, just find a deal. I mean, we're women. We love to shop. We love a bargain. Well, she looks fabulous, and joining us now is Tara Badeau. Please welcome Tara Badeau to the show. <laughs> I'm so glad you came in person. I'm so glad you had me in person. Now, that whole experience, we have to tell them that in the beginning, you weren't, you're an experienced thrift shopper, but in the beginning, you weren't so thrilled with going to Goodwill. That's right. I had enough risk in my life and decided that, uh, you know, I was a little apprehensive when you came to me about going to a thrift store. I just wasn't certain I'd find something that would match my look and my style and that I would have fine, high quality at the store. Right. How surprised were you? Very surprised. Yeah. Uh, I think probably the most surprising thing is the quality of clothing, the variety of labels, as well as the price point. Yeah. So what do you do for a living? Tell us about yourself. I'm a recovering lawyer. <laughs> I now uh, I practiced law for five years, and now I run a nonprofit. I'm the executive director of the California Minority Council program. You're a busy woman. Very. Okay. And but you watch your dollars very carefully, as most of us do today. I'm running a nonprofit in a recession. So yeah. there you go. <laughs> say no more. Say no more. But when you're buying, you know, when you're out there and you're looking for something, say at Goodwill, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes we're a little wary of buying something that's expensive. Right. And I think you really have to think of, in that case, how many times will I wear it? Is it cost effective? Right. You know, break it down to each time you wear it, how that's much right. it's going to be. So that's a really good one for it. Um, and I also think that sometimes, you know, you, you think that uh, designers, when you go into, especially Goodwill, mm -hmm. it's very overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And they have a, a section that says designers. But if you just go there, a lot of the people in the stores don't know all the designers' names. This is right. So they don't, ha you go there first, mm -hmm. yes, but do look at the rest of the shop because the designers kind of scattered around everywhere. That's right. So you can't just go to that one section and be sure you're going to find That's it. right. You yeah. have to put your running shoes on, have your patience, and get your fingers ready to go through and look. Go through. And, and, and yeah. have an idea in your mind about what you're right. looking for. That's because right. Because otherwise, again, it's overwhelming. That's right. That's right. Um, the surge seams, checking out the quality of mm -hmm. the garments, checking out the seams, mm -hmm. checking the buttons, all mm -hmm. of those types of things, mm -hmm. very, very important. Mm -hmm. But we're going to have a little break right now, and then sure. we're going to come back with more recession-proof clothing. All right. Soon.